Hi, I'm Erin St. Blaine, and today we're going to talk about NeoPixel Diffusion. First, let's talk a little bit about what diffusion is. Diffusion means having something between your light and your eye so that it breaks up all the waves of light a little bit and makes it look a little softer, a little more smooth, and a little less like you're being blinded. There's lots of different ways of diffusing pixels, and I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of different categories. I went and got a whole bunch of paper and some foam and a lot of different kinds of plastic. And I also went through a whole bunch of different types of fabric. That's a lot of stuff. I really wanted to know which of these materials looks the best and which one is kind of the best bang for your buck. Some of these things are pretty expensive and some are super cheap. So let's get started. Starting with the fabric category. I used a whole bunch of different types of fabrics. My favorite, of course, was this beautiful white long pile fun fur. It does an absolutely fantastic job of diffusing all the different strips of neopixels. I went through a whole bunch of these others too. I have some linen and some lace, a little bit of rib knit, and some sequins. So let's take a look and see how those did. Now let's talk about paper. I just went around my house and found all the different kinds of paper I could find. I have a regular old printer paper, wax paper from my drawer, paper towels, <laughs> and of course my very favorite parchment paper. This is used for baking and that sort of thing. It was in the drawer right next to the wax paper and I really like the way this looks diffused. It's super cheap and it looks actually a lot like sort of Japanese shoji screen rice paper when it gets diffused. Um, really, really inexpensive, fantastic way to diffuse your pixel. Kind of a unique diffusion material that I found is this one-way mirror. And you put it over the lights, it doesn't really do too much, but when you combine it with a regular mirror and sandwich the lights in between, you can get a really cool infinity mirror effect. Next, let's go into plastic. I went to Top Plastics and asked the experts. I asked the lovely lady who worked there for samples of a bunch of different types of LED plastic. Now these are mostly made for diffusing like overhead fluorescent lights. You might recognize this from uh, elementary school. <laughs> but uh, I tested them all out to see how they look with pixels and got some pretty interesting results. My favorite, I think, from this category is actually this black LED acrylic. This is available on the, uh, the Adafruit website and uh, it does a really great job of diffusing the pixels and makes them look really sharp, which is a super different look from most of the other materials I found.
And next, let's talk about foam. This is a fancy piece of specialty LED foam. I've seen a lot of maker tutorials online use this stuff uh, to some beautiful effect. So I wanted to get some and try it out for myself. I got three different thicknesses. I actually really love the thinnest one, which is an eighth of an inch thick. It does a fantastic job of diffusing the pixels. They look diffused and soft. The uh, high density pixels just look like a light band, which I love. Uh, but this stuff is pretty expensive. It was about 20 bucks for this little piece. So make sure you know what you're doing before. Um, I also tried out this packing material. This was like five bucks for the whole roll. And it does a fairly decent job too. Um, not as good as the LED foam, but if you're on a budget, this is not a bad option. Adafruit Learn System website for a full tutorial with all the different materials broken out into pieces and categories and uh, a little video clip of each one. It's a little easier than scrolling through this video. But just to sum up, my particular favorites and our winners, for fabric category, I love the fun fur. Oh, it's just so soft. Uh, for the foam category, this LED 8th inch foam is really just fantastic. In plastics, I like the black acrylic. Wow. And then uh, my surprise winner was just this roll of wax paper from my kitchen. Be sure to link your projects in the comments and hit that subscribe button for more fun Adafruit tutorials. Have a great day. I'm Erin St. Blaine and thanks for watching.